Now I know, I know, I know. All you can see is a little bit of the top of my chest, tattoos and shit of that nature. What other tattoo it? It's right there. But <clears throat> I did a thing, guys, and I want to show you. So here's the reveal. I can be a casino, shake it, get it best for me. Give me all you got to keep them best for me. Stop playing with us, Chief Freeze. Show us what you did, Chief Freeze. All we can see is your chest, Chief Freeze. Just be a man about it. Okay, but I'm not a man, so I'm not about to be a man about it. Um, on another note, I wish I could flip the camera, but I can't. So uh, I'm going to show you one a little bit later. But my little at-home studio, coming along pretty well. But uh, let me set up this. This is an unboxing video, by the way. So I'm going to show you what I did, but I'm also going to show you the products that I bought. And just a little side note. I didn't shave my underarms, so if you see a little hair, you, you, you know where it's going. You guys, my house, well, my couch is a fucking mess. But now that you're here, you can actually see the thing that I did. Um, I cut my hair, it's gone. Big chop, uh, here's a clip of that. Okay, so what made me put all this fucking grease on my face? Um, anyway, what made me chop the rest of my hair off? Um, guys, it was just time. The top was really, really, really unhealthy. And the only way to get it healthy, um, just, be, just before I say how I got it healthy, because clearly you see how I got it healthy, um, I did try, guys. You know that. I think I told some people that I was gonna try before I decided to chop it off. Um, I think it was on Instagram or Facebook, whatever. Anyways, I said that I was gonna try deep conditioning. So for months, deep condition, you know, deep condition, deep condition, trying to get it back in a state where it was healthy. Didn't work. Hot oil treatments, okay? Because maybe it's just dry as fuck and you need some fucking oil. Didn't work. Uh, tried switching my shampoo to something more natural, organic. It didn't work. So it had gotten to the point where, if not every day, every other day, I needed to lift dandruff, dandruff up off of my scalp. And it bothered me because I don't like my hair to be dirty. Like, I'm a stickler for having clean and good looking locks. That's what I was known for. When people knew me, they knew that my locks were clean, they were taken care of, they were organized. And honestly, for six years, I've been doing a hell of a job, but that last year, um, you know, it got the best of me, and I, it was just time. So, hopefully you guys can't see any of this stuff on the table, because I did not mark. Give me a second. 12 seconds later. So, now that I didn't take care of that, because, you know, I had to mark out my address. Don't want y'all trying to be creeps. Um... I had to buy things, guys. So I want to keep my hair extremely healthy. So in order for me to do that, I have to buy the things that I need. So this is a thing that I need. These are things that I need. And that's the thing that I need. You guys can only imagine what those things are, right? So let's unbox. Every time I get on camera, he has to have attention, guys. So 
first things first, I'm gonna go with the smallest package. Let's see what's in here. So guys, you know, if you're gonna have no hair and you're gonna try to go for waves, which I'm doing, you gotta have do-rags. So I did my research, which is, I, it's something that I think that everybody who is cutting their hair or anybody who is getting waves or 360s or 540s or 720s, 270s, whatever you're going for, hybrids, you should know, you should do your research and know the things that you will need. I knew that I was gonna need a silky. I like this silky. This silky feels good. However, the strings are short. So, <clears throat> I decided to do some research. And on the wave pages, why is this not down? There it is. On the wave pages, they said this dream um, do-rag was really silky and it was good. So, I got me two. I got a red, I got a black. Cause I like wearing red and I like wearing black. So, those are those two. Um, let's open it and see what they feel like or what they look like. I'm gonna open the black one. Cause that's probably what I'm gonna put on them later. Uh, a little dusty um so far it has the same feel as the one that I have on my head it's a little thin but it's cool I expected it to be but it is truly a silky um I fucked with it looks like the strings I don't know if you guys can see it <clears throat> but the strings are pretty thick so you got a little coverage there and they look to be a little long. We'll find out a little later. Let's open the second small one. I feel like they put this in this big ass bag and it could have been in a small bag just like that one. But I ain't about to be out here. They did all this, this, this big ass bag for one thing. Anyways, boo boo cat. You're gonna need something to do a little wash. You're gonna need something to do a little compression. So, I got a boo-boo cap. I am gonna get a monsoon cap. I am gonna get, that's it, right? Monsoon cap. I am gonna get a Sue rag. But for now, boo-boo caps. And, you know, something else. But for now, the boo-boo cap. It's so opening to see what it looks like. I got a tiny head, guys. I know you guys can tell I have a tiny head. But uh, hopefully, We'll try it on later. I probably have to stretch it out a little bit, but this is what it's looking like. All right, let's move on. You wanna move on, Kitty? You do? What are we doing? You gonna open this one next? You wanna do that one or this one? You wanna do this one? Let's do this one. All right. I'm gonna open it upside down because my dress is on the other side, so you know. I have another box coming, guys, and I guess as soon as I get it, I'll do an unboxing for that as well. But for now, let's do this one. What the fuck? I don't want to pull too hard because I ain't trying to take an eye out or nothing like that. Close that because we have miners in the room. So, guys, sometimes I get a little obsessive. And I just, you know, keep buying shit that I don't necessarily need. So, wave caps. This is a two pack. Just because, honestly, guys, the boo boo cap is just gonna be for compression. I don't wanna get it all extra dirty and stuff like that. So, that's gonna be for when I'm wolfing, double compressing. This is what I'm gonna use to wash with. So, when I'm washing my hair, I'm not gonna use the do-rag. I know a lot of y'all do the do-rag and rinse. I'm gonna put on the wave cap and rinse. Why? Because you can tell when the shampoo is out. These do-rags, I can't tell when I got the shampoo out and I don't want to leave it in there and fuck up my hair. I'm working really, really hard on trying to get my hair back to a really good state. By the way, I did not say anything yet but I am going for 540 waves. So far, it's been going really well. Uh, it's only been, tomorrow makes a week since I scalped. So, and I mean, it wasn't like a true scalp. I'm not bald bald, but I did cut everything to a one yard close. And if you haven't seen what that looks like, um, I'm gonna throw a little picture in to show what it looked like when I first cut my hair. 
The crown area is really, really thin, guys. And I knew not to cut it that low, but honestly, I needed to know where my crown was and which way I needed to brush for my 540s. I went ahead and fucked up my crown just for the sake of knowing. I know my hair grows back pretty fast, so my crown will be back and I'll be back in business soon. I'm not that worried about it. But like I said, sometimes I get obsessive. And so, is this upside down? And so, I got more do-rags. But I decided to go to different brands to try it out. And these, honestly, by the box, look fucking amazing. So I got the Red by Kiss, the Power Wave, Silky Satin Do-Rag. Uh, let's order, let's, let's open this gold one. This gold one is looking real enticing, like it's like open. So I'm gonna open this one. Okay. Mmm, I like it. I like it, guys. This shit thick. Oh my god. This this shit thick. This is probably going to be the rag that I use for wolfing. This shit is huge too. Like, good god. Whose head is this big? If you got a big head and you need a rag that's gonna, and look at the strings, guys. He's over here trying to get the damn strings. But look at them strings. Look. Oh my God. So big head people, I don't have one, but big head people, this is the rag for you. And woofers, woofers. People who woof for very long times, this is the rag for you. It's thick, it's silky. That, that joint silky. Them, them, them things thick out here. Them, them tails is thick. And it's long. So if you're looking for one, hit this. Hit this. I try to get a different range of colors, but I had to stick with getting two blacks, three blacks. Because most of the time when I go out the house, I'm going to have a black direct on, especially if I'm at work. I don't want to be trying to style on niggas at work. You know, I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to be that person. So, I had to keep the black good. Got the gold to go, you know, with my little gold. And then, got a little bit of blue going on here. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little lighter, but this will do. If I need some Carolina blue, I'll get it. If I need some Duke blue, I'll get it. You know I'm gonna get the Duke blue. Y'all know I like Duke, so I'm gonna get that Duke blue. I'm gonna be out here styling or whatever. Um, so far, I'm, I'm really impressed by it. If you've never seen the Wave Builder ones, these are just regular ass stock caps. So, hey guy, cut it out, little boy. Anyway, these are just regular ass stocking caps. You see them on your, you see them on your near hood nigga. You seen your hood nigga in the hood on the streets. You know, any classrooms, they done had this one. So, I'm not opening it. Last box, guys. And I'm going to show you my little haul of brushes that I've collected so far. Um, still got some more coming. I'm going to start using the curved brushes since I don't have any hair at all now. So, I'm um, still using my As I Am Double Butter Cream. And I still use my oil because those that's what works for me, guys. I have not used pomade. I'm not going to use pomade. I don't know why he's being so loud. And he's only doing it because I'm on the camera. Beam up. Really? Can we not? Little hairy face. Hey, tell them hey. Say hey, guys. It's beam up. You're a little dirty boy. You need a bath. Go take a bath. Go take a bath. No. Okay. All right. You want to help me open this box? Yes. Okay. Say we got one more box, guys. Yeah. Let's open it. It says Friday. So this is maybe, maybe, going to be the only thing that I switch up in my routine. If it works and I like it. Throw that out there. So if you haven't heard, this is the hot thing on the block. And like I said, I'm just now trying it. So we gonna see. We gonna see, I'm skeptical. But Legion Sauce, Legion Sauce guys. I got the combo, the oils here. 
these are pretty decent sizes guys and i'm guessing this is the conditioner uh so shampoo conditioner oh i want to see let me see how he acts with this look smells like and looks like and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like oh that smells really natural like you know how some certain things have like a natural smell no no it's not food it's conditioner anyways this is what the conditioner looks like I'm trying not to tilt it too much so it doesn't fall out but this is what it's looking like. This smells like all natural butter. <laughs> I forgot what's actually in it, but it smells like it. So, I mean, I'm excited because, you know, natural shit. Um, this is the shampoo. Oh, that has a nice smell to it. I think I added a smell. Hold on, let me see. Strawberry Delight. I did add a smell to it. And it smells exactly like that. Smell it? You like that? You do? It's not food. It's just shampoo. Anyways, I cannot wait. I think I'm going to do a washing style today. That shit smell good. That shit smell good. So, this is the oil. Uh, it's called Saucy Rose. Roses. Is that what's that? Whatever. Um, I can be a casino, shake your kid and best for me. I'm 